Hi, this is Manos Brilakis presenting case one for the Manual of Non-CTO Complex Corner Interventions. This is a case illustrating the use of a guide catheter extension for visualization and equipment delivery. This was the case of a patient with a significant circumflex lesion. It was actually two tandem bifurcation between the first and the second obtuse margin branch from a large left dominant circumflex. And the challenge here was partially that visualization was poor because of uh, most of the contrast going into the LAD versus going into the circumflex. We therefore inserted a guideliner catheter. This was done using a balloon. The balloon was inflated partially inside and partially outside the guideliner. And then by deflating the balloon, we were able to simultaneously advance the guideliner, who then was delivered into the mid-circumflex, despite the significant tortuosity of the circumflex. Now we could inject through the guideliner and we obtained excellent visualization of the circumflex. We can now see very accurately the origin of the first and second obtuse marginal branches. The lesion was predilated and then was successfully stented with um, a single stand. We decided to not uh, protect the side branches because there was no significant osteal disease. And after stent uh, deployment, we did have a nice and geographic result. Despite pinching of the ostea of both obtuse marginal branches, there was excellent TME3 flow without significant lesions. The patient had an excellent recovery. A total of 14 minutes of fluoro were used and the, and the air care radiation dose was 1.6 gray. So in summary, our case demonstrates the importance of a guide catheter extension both for better visualization of the target vessel as well as um, facilitating delivery through areas of tortuosity. Thank you.